Folks, so over the last 48 hours, you have seen the One Rental at a Time community put out a lot of content about retiring early. And a lot of the pushback and hate, frankly, that I've gotten in the comments and others are really from folks that, frankly, do not believe it is possible. Mm -hmm. I want to have a conversation with the one and only Adrian Hernandez, who's done many amazing things in his life. Someone who may or may not uh, be at uh, WealthCon, but certainly will be at Grow With Media or Grow With the Video, uh, Sean Cannell's event, and I. I just want people to realize that the cornerstone of all the amazing things I have done, whether it is taking three products from zero to 100 million, whether that's raising tens of millions of dollars in private funding, whether that's building a portfolio or flipping homes or building a YouTube channel, it is all started with an unwavering belief that it's possible. And I'll be honest, Adrian, a lot of this belief was unfounded, right? Who builds a YouTube channel without editing videos? Who builds right. a YouTube channel without a hook? Who builds a YouTube channel by creating a thousand videos on their phone? No one. So I good. just kept showing up. I just kept showing up. So let's talk about belief because I think a lot of people give up before they even start. And that's just a shame. Yeah. And it, and it all comes down to that word, right? Belief. I, I think we don't, number one, either we put it on a pedestal or number two, we don't believe in it enough. And a lot of people think that belief is like some woozy, gazi, fugazi, right? Fugazi, fugazi that's out there. But, but let's just think about something real fast. Let's take a look at like wholesalers or flippers or or buy and hold investors. They come into the real estate game. They have zero idea what they are doing, but they have a belief that it's going to work and that they're going to succeed. And all of a sudden they start passing people that are that have been in the game five, 10, 15 years. Right. You know, yeah. you know, it's crazy. I, I listened to I happen to be scrolling through Instagram and there was this thing with Tarek and Tarek talked about. He didn't flip houses when he got his TV show. When he, when they gave Tarek uh, the, what is, what was it? Flip or flop? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. When, when they gave Tarek flip or flop, he had never flipped any <laughs> houses. I saw that. He I pitched this to, to, to HGTV. HGTV gave him a contract and he had no choice to believe that it was going to work. Went out there, hired a, a crew that he had zero idea what he was doing, found properties. He has zero idea what he was doing and literally learned on the show. And yet yeah. you have, and, and he passed everybody. He passed. I mean, think about how fast. He, oh, yeah. he grew and, and he passed everybody and he had never flipped a house before guys. It look at is, is being smart. Good. Yeah. Yes. Knowing what you're doing. Yes. But the belief oversees all of that every single time. Yeah. When I kind of think of those, because again, I I'm now interacting with thousands of people, right. But doing this YouTube thing for five or six years, growing a, a, a great brand. And when I re react or interact with people, whether it's at a meetup or, or whatnot, I'm starting to get a good sense of who's going to succeed or not. Right. And I have to tell you, it all starts with belief because everybody says the words, oh, great. I have my buy box. Oh, the daily, di like they, they can quote my vocabulary. But if your next set of words are something like, you know, I've been doing this for a couple of weeks and I can't find a deal or uh, my market doesn't work. Where should I go? Or you just you just start li listing a long list of excuses. Yep. You don't believe. Nope. Right. Everything I talk about is is learning a skill. I don't promise a deal, but I promise learning a skill. And it just I can really sense that in folks. Right. Today's ridiculously hard to find a deal. Even for me, it's hard to find right. a deal. Um. But it's, I just, I have an unwavering belief in frankly, 20 years of receipts to know it's possible. Yep. Um, and I just keep excited about the next day. And it's funny. I was listening to a podcast with Cody Sanchez and um, Impact Theory. I forget the host's name, Impact Theory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Quest, the, the founder of Quest Nutrition. And um, I'm forgetting why I forget his name, but anyway. I see his face. I see yeah, his that, face. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and- they were talking about, hey, we can kind of see who's going to be successful. Yes, there's a minimum intelligence level, but it's not rocket science. But there's right. some minimum level that you have to have. That's fair. And then Cody was all on this, just you got to do the work. You just got to keep going. It takes longer than you expect. You got to keep showing up. And 
those are the people that win. Yep. Real estate investing is hard. It's always been hard. But I want to go back to all the legendary things I've done, whether it's taking products from zero to 100 million, raising 10 million bucks in private money, flipping 57 homes, whatever it is. It just starts with the belief. And then the, the ability to start doing the work and not stopping. Not stopping. Yes, I hit roadblocks. Yes, a lot of failures, less, lots of lessons. But you get up, you dust yourself off, and you keep moving forward. 100%. People are soft today. They're just soft. They want it. They want everything easy. Yep. And they take a loss. They have a deal that doesn't work out. They have a tenant that doesn't pay and they immediately throw in the towel, right? Because that belief of long-term longevity. It's worse than that, Adrian. It's not that they had a tenant that didn't pay. It's they heard some story from some person they've never met had something like this. Yep. That's the problem. Yep. Hundred percent. They watch a podcast where people say something that went wrong, and before you know it, it's like, well, that doesn't work. But yet they're still out there prospecting. You guys stop prospecting. Go get a normal job. Go yeah, get something you believe yeah. in. Yeah. If you heard David Green's story about losing fifty homes and some LLC craziness in Detroit, right. oh, I heard David Green's story losing fifty homes. I'm not doing that. Okay. Exactly. You're soft. Go do yep. something else. It, you know, there's a quote that says, in order to hold it in your hands, you first must see it in the mind, right? To see it in the mind is that belief to know that it's possible. And you guys, it's every, this is one thing I've learned. It's going to test you. It's going to test your belief level every single day. Mostly every single deal I had when I first got started, I believe was a test to see how much I believed I really wanted this and how much I believed it would actually work. But if I would have given the towel on loss number one, if I gave in the, if I threw in the towel on loss number two, if I chose to stop believing on loss number three, you guys, I would be working at McDonald's. But yeah. it's it's all that belief. It's you know I love Kevin Sturdivant. If any of you guys know Kevin Sturdivant out of case, like Kevin preaches this to his guys over and over and over again. Just believe that it's possible you can find an off market deal in Three Arch Bay. Three Arch Bay is like a really high end area in Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, high-end neighborhood. You would never think it's possible. Or he would say, there's no way you can find, uh, people would say, there's no way you can find an off-market deal on the Palencia of Newport Beach. You guys, th there's this little island, Lido Island, a tiny little island in, 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 in Newport, okay? Where most of, you would never think I can go get a deal. Most people believe they can never go door knock and find an off-market deal in Lido Island. His team does it time after time after time because the belief is so freaking powerful it doesn't matter if the house is a hundred thousand dollars in detroit or 50 million dollars in newport beach the belief doesn't have a, a a monetary amount to it you just got to be able to believe in your mind that it's possible go out there and do it and it, and it will happen yeah. I, 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 so i'll give a prime prime story here i moved from inland empire to orange county I was telling everybody to go door knock. You can get a listing door knocking. That's how I build my listing business. All the agents thought I was, freak was freaking crazy. I said, you guys, come with me. I was so certain, Zuber. I was so certain that it was going to happen. My belief was so high. We went door knocking for one day, two hours. I got a listing. <laughs> they looked at me like I invented fire. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work here. Uh, let me show you. Let yeah. me show you. My belief was just so. Now, don't get me wrong. While I was, you know, while I, while I, while I was dark, I'm like, this shit better freaking work, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it just so happened, like an hour and a half in, the guy's like, yeah, come in. It was a beat up house. Had I known back then, I would have bought it. I would have bought it. It was a beat up house in a great neighborhood. I literally set the appointment right then and there. I walked through the house. I didn't have a listing contract on me. So I set the appointment for a couple of hours later, came back with one of the guys. I was like, it's impossible. It's impossible. I've been in this area for years. It's impossible. Possible, took the listing. He looked at me like I was crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing I want people to realize is again, I want you to understand that you can do it, whatever that thing is. Yeah. We've been talking about on this channel for the last 48 hours, retiring early. It is absolutely possible. Notice I never said easy, never said quick, never said any of those things. I just want you to believe it's possible. The other thing I want you to believe is I really am starting to believe in seasons. Right. If you're aiming for, to retire early, you know, call it a decade, you're going to have a season of living below your means, 
sacrificing, working on becoming elite at something. But in eight to 12 years, that season will be over. And you will have the rest of your life for another season. So again, I will look at earning financial freedom is winter. It's hard. It's cold. It's lonely. It's gray. But you know what? When winter is over, trust me, as somebody who is living in spring and summer, it is amazing. So good. But everybody goes through winter. Olivia and I's winter, 15 years. 15 years. Wow. We're going to have 40 years of spring and summer. So good. I love that analogy. Tony Robbins talks about that all the time. I love that. And a great book, guys, is The Magic of Believing by Claudio Bistro. It was one of the first books I read that really helped my belief level because, you know, I, let's not get things twisted here. My belief level was never very high. I actually subconsciously believed that it was really hard and that because I had all of these insecurities that that it was going to be even harder for me. And then remember perspectives, everything, right? I read a book, the magic of believing, and it changed my entire perspective on what I thought was possible and what I thought, what, what, what I could and could not believe in that book was the foundation Zuber that changed my entire belief level, because then I knew at even at 21 years old, I would be the number one agent in the office. I just believed it because there was some perspectives that I had to change, right? There was some things that my parents instilled in me when I was little that didn't serve me. Don't get me wrong. My parents did a fantastic job, but it just didn't serve me. It wasn't, it it, it messed with that belief level. Some of you guys, we got to reprogram program ourselves. We got to change the perspective. If you're listening and you're like, hey, I get it. All right. What you guys are saying, I get it. I understand I need to believe, but I just don't. Like, how, how do, what do I do? How do I do this, right? You got to change the perspective. Yeah, I, I got to tell people all the time, because I, I, I'm talking about retiring early. It's really taking off on the channel. I have to tell you about 30% of the comments are just a long list of excuses. Like Most definitely. Just, I'm like, you're right. You can't. What else do you want me to say? Right, but you, go if, talk to somebody who had those excuses before, change their perspective, change their outlook on it, and yet they retired early. Well, It'll help you. Again, I go back to like one of the guys that has earned early retirement. This is where he started. $250,000 in debt, single parent, responsible for raising three kids and wow. making 17 bucks an hour. Wow. Is your situation worse than that? Wow. And he retired he, early. And he retired early. 12 year journey. So, so incredible. So incredible. Yeah. Just, so what do you great. want to believe? Again, I, I, I come to that all the time. Your story is worse than 250K in debt, negative net worth. You are a single parent raising three children, three growing kids. That ain't cheap. And you make 17 bucks an hour. And you earn financial freedom in 12 years. Stop, stop whining. Stop crying. Stop complaining. Get to work. Believe in it. He had an unwavering belief that it was possible and he did it. Pretty cool. Adrian, where can people find you? Crazy what a slight change in perspective does. Just a, just a tweak, right? So good guys. Work on it. You guys follow me Instagram at Adrian Hernandez. If you haven't done so already, and you're watching this channel, and that subscribe button is not pressed, hit the subscribe button. It's See right over there. Week. And folks, <laughs> I will put the uh, magic of believing. If that book was that impactful on Adrian, I know it will be that impactful for you. I'll put it in the show notes below. Click on it, Amazon link. Yes, I will make pennies. Uh, I'm not hiding that from you. Uh, but yeah, I'll put it. I'll find it. I'll put it there. Enjoy. Adrian, thank you so much. Thank you.